chat gpt can be a great companion to you especially if you are preparing for some competitive exam which requires you know a lot of study and understanding of concepts so in this video i want to show you five ways in which you can use this tool to your advantage let's get started the first thing is understanding a concept right so let's say you are preparing for gate exam say computer science right and you want to understand a concept like deadlock which applies to operating system so you can start a conversation with chat gpt using something like can you explain deadlock in operating system for example and let's see what chat G gpt comes back with so if you see it is it has come up with an explanation for the concept right and you can go through it and see if it makes sense to you if not then you can dig further right so if you see it has tried to explain the concept in a very simple manner but say i'm still not clear so i can say that can you elaborate on this right and this kind of conversation can you know help you to dig in deeper like get more clarity around the concept now i i think you may be wondering okay i have google and i can do this but then google gives you a plethora of options and you have to go through them right here you are just conversing like you converse with a teacher right who can explain you things in a better manner so if you see uh, chat gpt gives you various scenarios in which deadlock can be used for example right and here comes the second point so what you can do is suppose you get you get an idea about the concept right it does explain you the concept and then you want to see okay but practically where do we use it so you can say um like can you give me a practical example and you don't have to type the entire thing of deadlock you can just say can you give me a practical example because chat gpt has the context in which you are talking so it will give you a practical example of deadlock occurring right and this is a pretty classic example where you have i mean if you are familiar with deadlocks in operating system you will know it it's around processes which try to access the same resource and then a deadlock happens so it does um explain you the concept with a very clear cut example and you can go through this obviously on your own the idea is i just wanted to show you how you can understand the concept and number 2 how you can uh understand the practical um approach or the practical application of the concept now let's say you want to dig in deeper uh, to something like uh, say algorithms right and you want to get a better picture of say something like a bubble sort how it works so you can say can you show me how bubble sort works um in a visual manner let's see what it comes back with so what chat gpt normally does um it first tries to explain you the example right explain the concept with an example and then it will it will probably show you the visual aspect so here if you see it explains you what bubble sorting is with a step by step if you are not uh, uh, i mean if you are not finding this info very useful you can just so you can just write show me visually let's see what it comes back with so it comes back with a visual representation of the algorithm <clears throat> and it'll give you probably give you a link where this uh, example can be found right so if you see it it is kind of explaining the concept visually swap 5 and 2 no swap between 5 and 9 swap 9 and 1 so it shows you step by step how things are working right and this is a pretty good way of understanding things so this is how you can understand a concept right 
the next way in which you can use chat gpt and which which brings me to the third one is like if you want to know about more resources to understand deadlocks or to understand bubble sort so i'll i'll just ask chat gpt can you provide and i can be very specific um, in this provide me one link to understand this better so it will give you a, a decent link where you can go and see and read about bubble sort and understand things better so it does give you a website right and it tells you why it has picked up the option the website is a great resource for understanding algorithms so you can explore right so this is again a pretty good way to get hold of good resources to understand problems right or to understand a concept the next thing is okay you have understood a concept now but you want to practice things right so let's ask chat gpt to give us some practice questions so this brings me to the fourth point which is practice questions can you give me a practice question so it will give you practice questions and this is actually very helpful if you are preparing for exams right so as you can see here is a practice question and <laughs> to complement that it, it also gives you the solution so i will say don't look at the solution look at the problem uh, and let's say for example if you are preparing for an exam like gate so what i can do is i can just say uh, give me a question gate computer science related to this so it will probably bring up a random question for you and you know help you to understand i mean practice things out so you will get a code fragment right and then it will give you a plethora of options i mean objective type thing if you see it it is now asking you what is the best time case time complexity of the bubble sort algorithm these are the options so i want i don't want to see the answer i just want to see the question and try it out so if you see it also gives you practice questions right which is great you can if you are sitting idle and you just want to practice something just ask it to give you throw at you a random question and this i think is a pretty good feature the last uh, tip that i have for you is if you are if you want to get inspired for example you are looking for tips you are looking for um, strategies inspiration motivation let's ask chat gpt um, tell me something inspiring so this happens quite often that you get bored with things right you want to relax right so just ask it for some inspiration and i know this is uh, this may look small but it's actually quite helpful um, to, you know read read something inspiring while you want to spend time relaxing and you can also ask for some strategies like can you help me uh, make a plan for gate preparation and let's see what it gives you so it will probably give you a very basic plan and you can obviously expand on that you can ask it for more info and uh, you know that can be helpful so let's say it is now generating a plan but let's say i need a schedule so i can say and a schedule for my preparation and like i'm saying this can apply to anything it can be uh, any exam it can be any kind of study that you are doing so it will break things up for you it will give you a week by week kind of uh, plan and a schedule and you know you can go from there obviously you can tweak it you can think on it you can but at least you have some kind of framework to use um, so the possibilities are endless uh, and these are just few things that you can do obviously uh, there are a lot more things i'm sure you 
uh, you can explore and probably leave something in the comment if you have found some some other useful technique or tip that you have for others so feel free to share uh, this is what i wanted to present in this video um, thank you